Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 26th of 2024 is titled Comet Pons Brooks's Ion Tail. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as Comet Pons Brooks. And this is a comet that has been known for hundreds of years and in fact has been seen since 1385 when it came in toward the inner solar system. And it has a period of about 71 years. So every 71 years, it will return to the inner solar system and makes it comparable to Halley's Comet, which is better known, which has a period of about 76 years. So they come in and will zip through the inner solar system. Now this is a consequence of what is known as Kepler's second law of planetary motion. And that says that when an object is closer to the sun, it's going to be moving faster. And when it's far away, it's going to be moving a lot slower. So when a comet is out in the depths of the solar system, it will stay there for a very long time. So while this comet may come every 71 years, it will zip through the inner solar system in just a few months. And it will spend decades in the very outer portions of the solar system. And that's typical for comets with orbits like this and Halley's Comet as well. Now when they do come in and come close to the sun, they get heated up. The cometary core is essentially a big ball of ice. And that gets vaporized and those icy materials then form that head around it, which we call the coma of the comet. And that material then gets pushed back by the energy of the sun. So the comet's tail that we see stretching off here toward the upper right hand side tells us that the sun has to be in the opposite direction. And that again is because the cometary tail is formed by the sun, the sun pushing away that material that was expelled from the nucleus. Now this is what we call the ion tail. There are comets can have two tails and the ion tail is individual atoms and molecules. So relatively light things and they are pushed almost straight back from the sun by its energy. And that gives us the tail that we see and then the details we can see that as well all the different streams of material and structures within it as that material is pushed back. So it's not just one single long tail, but we can see multiple tails from various emissions within that very central core that is not even visible at this scale. It's something only a few miles across in general and not able to be seen. We can only see it when it comes close to the sun and that's because of all the material that is now expelled around that, making it much larger and much brighter than it otherwise would be. Now the comet is currently nicely seen through binoculars or a small telescope, but it has been continuing to brighten and it may be visible in a couple of weeks during the total solar eclipse of April the 8th. So if you're in the right location and have clear skies and you happen to be on the path of totality that day, the comet may be visible in the sky. And that's because during the total solar eclipse, the sky will completely darken, it will be like nighttime there, and allowing us to be able to see objects that would otherwise be completely invisible. So things like stars and perhaps this comet will be visible if it brightens enough at that time. So that was our picture of the day for March 26th of 2024. It was titled Comet Pons Brooks's Ion Tail. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sky Lion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.